murder case down in Florida that began with a fight over loud music. Michael Dunn is claiming self-defense in the shooting death of an unarmed teenager may seek protection under Florida's Stand Your Ground law. ABC's Steve Osinsami has the story. This morning, as attorneys seat a jury for his murder trial, 47-year-old software developer Michael Dunn is pleading not guilty, saying what happened outside this Florida gas station is a clear case of self-defense. 911, uh, may I please have the ambulance? Somebody's been shot. Prosecutors say the argument started over loud music coming from this red SUV. Dunn and his girlfriend had just left his son's wedding in November 2012. He says he was in the car outside asking four black teenagers in the Durango to turn it down. I said, hey, would you guys mind turning that down? And uh, they shut it off. In this November 2012 uh, interrogation video, he explained that they then the turned it back up. Yeah, and when he complained, like, they started yelling from inside the vehicle. That's when Dunn says he saw something point at him from the SUV. It was either a barrel or a stick, but sir, they're, they're, they're like, we're going to kill you. Dunn says he grabbed a 9 millimeter from his glove box, fired four shots, and then walked outside his car, firing another four bullets as the SUV tried to back away. High school senior Jordan Davis, just 17, and in the back seat, was killed. His three teenage friends survived. Um, at a loss to, to justify what I did on the second volley, right. other than to say, I, I thought they were shooting, going to be shooting back. Police found no weapons in the SUV. Davis's mother, heartbroken. It's like vigilantism. It's not just about Jordan. A lot of other people have died behind the, the laws. The lead prosecutor is the same state attorney who failed to convict George Zimmerman, who also argued self-defense in the shooting death of another black 17-year-old, Trayvon Martin. For Good Morning America, Steve Osinsami, ABC News, Atlanta. Talk about this with ABC's chief legal affairs anchor, Dan Evers. We just saw the picture of Trayvon Martin there. A young black man is dead right now. Stand your ground is being talked about. Are the cases really similar? Well, look, apart from the fact that they were both unarmed, uh, they're not that similar. And the key difference is that in the George Zimmerman case, in my view, the most important piece of evidence was the fact that he had injuries on the back of his head. Why was that so important? Because that forced the prosecutors to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that he didn't actually fear uh, great bodily injury, didn't reasonably believe that he could have great bodily injury or death inflicted upon him. Here, there is no evidence of injury. There is no gun. It's that combination that is going to make this a much, much harder defense so than George mean, Zimmerman. Does that mean that Michael Dunn cannot succeed under Stand Your Ground? No, no, look, and, and the, the <clears throat> key is really going to be self-defense. He did not seek a Stand Your Ground hearing. Remember, that one of the most controversial parts of Stand Your Ground is it lets you try and avoid a trial. It allows you to go to a judge and say, I shouldn't be tried at all. There wasn't a stand your ground hearing here. So this is stand your ground slash self-defense. Um, well, the most important question is going to be, was he reasonable in his belief that he was trying to prevent death he or says great he saw bodily something, injury? But there wasn't a gun there. Well, the problem is also the authorities would say that there were inconsistent statements in what he said. So this, I, I think that this is a much harder defense than was the case of George Zimmerman. Okay, Dan Abrams, thanks very much. Such a tragic loss of life.